Hi, my name is Melissa Warner and I would like to talk about a recreation center I would like to call the Learning Gymboree. The center would focus on learning activities and physical activities that will stimulate a child's development. This center would also function as a daycare for younger children and after school program for teens. The first room is the infant room. For the infant room's first activity, I would like to do something to stimulate speech. To do this, I would have instructors encourage babbling and socialization amongst the babies. This activity stimulates cognitive development as the infants learn to use words with one another and increases socio-emotional development as well by allowing the infants to talk to one another. For the second activity, I would like to do something to encourage the infants to share and cooperate with their peers. To do this, I would separate the babies into groups of three with an instructor and give each group a toy that may stimulate sharing. This activity would stimulate the infant's socio-emotional development by teaching the children that they can share a toy with their peers and physical development because the child would be actively moving while playing with these toys. One of the toys that the infants could choose to play with would be the ride-on toys like the F-250 Super Duty Pickup from Fisher Price. The second room would be the toddler room. The first class in the toddler room would be one of physical activity. Toddlers would be encouraged to get up and move during a movement class taught by an instructor. This activity would encourage the toddlers to be physically active in a fun-filled way. The second class would be a class encouraging the toddlers to strike out on their own, so to speak. These activities include building blocks and other individual toys that the toddlers could choose to play with on their own. Building activities stimulate the toddler's cognitive development and encouraging their independence influences the toddler's socio-emotional development. One toy that I would like to use would be the Little People Classic Shapes Blocks by Fisher Price. The third room would be the Early Childhood Room. The first activity for the children in the Early Childhood Room would be the Imagination Playtime. During this activity, each child would be able to choose what or who they would like to dress up or pretend to be and act out that part. This activity would enhance the child's socio-emotional and cognitive development because the child would use their imagination and socialize with other children their age. A second class would encourage the children to dance through fun physical activities in a dance floor made of mats for the children to dance on. Instructors would model some simple dance moves and then encourage the children to do the moves themselves. This activity would not only assist the children in physical development, but also in cognitive development because the children are watching an activity and then mimicking that activity. One toy for this room would be the I Can Play Basketball toy from Fisher Price. The next room is the Middle and Late Childhood room. The first activity for this room would be a playtime, which would encourage outdoor recreation time. The instructor would teach the children a different sport each week as requested by the class's vote of majority. This activity would encourage physical development by encouraging children to increase their physical activity and cognitive development by learning a different sport each session. The second class would be a class about personality development to encourage the children to find where they fit in, not only with their peers but with their families as well. This activity would encourage children to develop socio-emotionally by helping children socialize and encourage them to choose healthy relationships. Although most of the activities would be played in the outside play area, there would be a limbo area in the room with mats under the limbo stick to cushion the children's fall. Our final room is the adolescence room. The first activity for the adolescents would be a class on identification where instructors would ask questions and separate the teens into smaller groups that had similar activities. Each day the questions would change in an effort to allow each teen to work with someone they had not previously associated with to encourage diversity and acceptance. This activity could encourage teens to lose any gender bias they may have by encouraging the teens to associate with someone they hadn't associated with before. The second class would be a physical education class where the children would learn not only different exercises but also what exercises help build what muscles. Instructors would teach the teens exercises that build muscle using both paper manuals and video models as well. In regards to well-being, a teen's self-esteem and body image could increase and therefore decrease their chances of turning to illegal substances to help them cope. In order to show the teens different muscles and exercises, the instructors would need a 42-inch or so TV with access to a DVD player. 
This would allow the instructors to show workout videos as well. In conclusion, I would like to thank you, council members, for hearing our proposal for the Learning Gymboree, which would help children of all ages in their cognitive, physical, and socio-emotional developments. I would love to get this facility up and running to benefit our community, but I need your help. Please, vote yes for the Learning Gymboree.